one of my favorite blue wing olive dry flies it's called a film critic you see here uh, it's got a most of its body is going to be hanging below the surface of the water or in the film thus the film critic I've done a few Unique things with this, what you can see the hackle is going to be a lighter color and that post is going to be a very dark color. You know, the reason for the post being a dark color is betas love to emerge on dark, cloudy, kind of greasy days and then that glare on the water, you'll be able to see that dark wing post very well. And conversely, if you end up on some dark water, you're going to be able to see that very light hackle on that dark water. So. It's, it's a fly that's going to be able to, you're not going to have to take it off into fish in different situations if you're looking at different kinds of water and different kinds of glare. So one of my absolute favorite styles of mayfly is this film critic and I'll show you how to tie it here. I've got some 70 denier uh, UTC olive. I'm just going to get it started on our size 18 scud or pupa hook here. Just get it going. First material we're going to lay down is some UV2 sparkle yarn. This is an amber. It's actually kind of a darker brown color. And what I've done is I've cut a short piece, a short hank of this, and I've taken about half of that hank uh, lengthwise and trimmed it just so I can tie that in. I'll grab that here. Try and keep it on top of the hook shank if I can. I'm going to wrap it down fairly deep into the bend just because a lot of that is going to be, a lot of this body is going to be below the surface of the water again in the film film critic I'm going to trim it off fairly close just because we're going to put a another tail on here and we just want this to be the illusion of the shuck just coming off what I've got next is a, a gadwall feather. You can use Hungarian partridge. You can use whatever you like as long as it's kind of a, a darker color. I like this gadwall because, uh, well, I shot it this fall and I thought it would look really good on this fly. It's got great barring. It's kind of got that wood duck look. I just peel off a few fibers off to the side, separate them, and you want it to be just a bit longer than the nubs of that sparkle yarn we tied down and again try and keep it on top of the hook if we can and this thread is going to be the majority of our body on this film critic you can see how that's coming down nicely over that nub can be our little tail of our blue and olive nymph next I'm just going to try and fill in all these gaps on the way back up the hook Make that body nice and solid. Now you can use a ribbing material if you want some segmentation on this fly. Um, because this is a size 18, you can tie them down to 20s. I don't use any other material just because I like it to be pretty slim. So what I do is I take a Sharpie in an alternate color. This is a brown. And I just mark up the thread just a little bit. Just enough for my wraps. So that as I wind up the hook, I can still achieve that segmentation I'm looking for without adding any extra materials. See that fills in nicely. Next we're going to take our post material and this is uh, EP trigger point fibers. This is in black. And I like to use these EP trigger point fibers because they compress very well. They're going to be able to keep the bulk to a minimum on this fly. Now this is the whole trick on these hackle stacker, stacker style flies is that we're actually going to tie this EP fiber in, in a, with a loop and it's going to help us wrap our fibers or uh, hackle around there. So what I mean by a loop is I'm going to create a little loop in my hand, the, the tips back out even here. I'm going to wrap it onto the hook. I want to leave a little bit of a gap towards the hook eye. But I want everything to keep pretty tight on top of the hook. You can see I've kind of I've built everything up on top of the hook. I'm going to trim this nice and short, a little nub 
It's actually going to help in flotation too. It looks like a little dark wing case from when that betas is popping out. Next, I'm going to fold this loop over and again keep it nice and tight on top of the hook. We want to be able to keep our hook gap, maintain our hook gap on this because again it's an 18. We don't want anything on that underside of the fly. We've got this nice little loop up here. It's going to help us wrap our hackle on. Like I said before, I've sized this hackle already. This is just dry fly hackle out of a 100 pack. This is an 18. Sometimes it does help to oversize this hackle. It looks pretty good if you put on like a 16 here. Uh, you've got some room to do that. Just again, put that hackle in. Try and keep everything on top. I'm just going to trim this piece off as I can. What's important here too is to keep your thread towards the back here. Don't move it, don't advance it forward because we're going to tie that hackle off right there. So you can see this is where that loop is going to help us out. It's going to stand that loop up and then we're going to pass this hackle up that loop. And this is what's going to make our hackle stacker. So a few turns up and then wrap back through there. Try not to trap any hackle fibers. You can actually tie your normal parachute flies this way with that loop. If you're having trouble with that, it really helps keep everything on top. You see you've got that nice light done dry fly hackle. Good contrast to that black. We're going to be able to see that if we get into some dark water without any glare. But we're going to be able to see that dark black post if we do get into the water with some glare. So we're going to tie that hackle off again to the top side and trim it off as close as we can. Now a lot of this is going to get covered up with dubbing. Next I use some here's your super fine dubbing. You can use you know a dark color like this dark olive or maybe this this light olive um, depending on your local insects. I'm going to use a little darker olive I think uh, some of the free stones around here we've got uh, We've got some darker colored spring betas. So I'm just using just a wisp. There isn't much of this, but what I want to do is build a nice little ball of dubbing. And again, we're going to elevate this. This is going to help everything kind of elevate, preserve our, our hook gap. And you see I've left this nice little space there behind the eye. You'll see where, where that comes in here in a moment when I go to tie this all off. So this is a big part of this fly. Don't take any crap from your materials. You've got all these great hackle fibers. You've got everything kind of in the way here. Don't take any crap from it. Just move it back out of the way and create this nice little ball of dubbing. Nice little bulbous ball. There you go. Fancy thread up to behind the hook eye. Take your loop, and again, don't take any crap from your materials, just move it all out of the way and move this loop down. I like to secure it to the, the near side uh, of the hook shank, kind of towards me, just because it helps me keep everything nice and tight until I get a few good wraps on there. Then I move it back to the front, give it a nice little soft little pull. Again, give it a few wraps, take that loop again, fold it over itself, and we're going to create a nice little betas head here. Almost like a little bullet head. Oops, slipped on me a little bit there. It's going to crowd the hook eye, so I'm going to back that out a little bit. There we go. Get it wrapped on there. Here we go, we've got our nice little, boldest little betas head. We're going to whip finish, get caught up in there. Thread, whoopsie, that's all right. I'll trim it off close. Again, here we go, we've got our, our black post, our nice white wing. 
I'm going to trim this black post a little bit higher. I'm going to leave it fairly high just so we can see it. It's kind of a flag there on the surface of the water. Again, nice and tall so we can see it. That black uh, post and when we get into that kind of glary water. But again, we've got this nice light hackle for when we get into that dark water. That is a film critic betas. One of my favorite betas mayflies.